everybody, it's Scarlet Pete, self-sufficiency, and we're back on the farm or the small holding or the homestead, depending on where you're from in the world. Let me know where you're from in the comments below. So what are we up to? Joe has bought a new drum mower that fits on the back of the tractor. It's called a drum mower because it has these two drums. See, that's a drum. Now then, he bought it cheap, didn't you, dear? Yeah. Because bearings and the seal are gone. Yeah, because the bearings and the seal had gone. So that's the seal he's replaced. How much did that cost you? A couple of pounds? Three pound. And what else did you pay for the bearings? Four bearings I need to change. That size? Because four pieces. Right. So the story of this is a man bought it for nearly a thousand pound. Yes? Yeah. And... It had. He find out the bearings problem. So he pulled it to pieces. He sold it. He pulled it to pieces and sold it in bits. So Joe bought it in bits, thinking, well, he doesn't need to well, pull it to pieces. All he needs to do is put it back together. Okay. And how wide does it cut? Two meter ten. So it cuts much wider. So when we're when we're going up and down the field. We need to do less passes, so therefore use less fuel. It's got a better cutting action, and it'll all be renewed and nice and new. This is the story of self-sufficiency, isn't it, darling? Do it yourself. <laughs> Joe? Oh, my goodness. I thought you were under that. Last minute I, lo last minute I looked, he was under that, and now he's let it down. <laughs> oh, my little heart. Yes, yeah, so self-sufficiency, doing it yourself. It looks like you're self-sufficiently frightening your wife to death. So we, this spins round, actually I should talk and be sensible now, look, this spins round these blades here that go flying around, and those um, blades, um, I can turn it, he's telling me, because it's... Is that the one that's had a new bearing in? Huh? Has that had a new bearing? Yeah. That's why it turns so lovely. So they spin round and cut the crop and throw it out the side. It, on the side it's got... Um, safety carpet or curtains hanging down that stop anything being thrown out of the field like pieces of metal or stones and to hit the person in the tractor so if you've got one of these you should always have the safety guards on shouldn't you dear yeah. you never take safety guards off do you dear no comment so that's it this is a Hungarian make this um, drum mower is isn't it darling but too many German writing on it. Yeah, it has got a lot of German writing on, so it's probably German then. It says here what it is, which I can't quite read. Where? Oh, no, it's Solnok. That's a Hungarian word. So there we go, guys. That's Joe's first bit of repairing that I'm videoing at the moment. He's got plenty other things to do in the shed, like... Here, look. Yes, I can see German right. I've, I've moved on now, darling. I'm moving on to the next... Shut up now. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. He's got the quad bike to do. We've got an old Lister or Petter engine there to do. We've got a generator to fix. And guess who's got all the tidying up to do in here? And <clears throat> That's my job. We've got the lathe there to fix parts with. That's the three-point linkage on the back that it fixes onto. Well, that's the end of that then, isn't it, dear? Are you yeah. going to carry on? How many days worth of work now? Nearly one week. One week so far. To save yourself how many thousands of pounds? Oh, dear. Mucky, oily boy. Look at him. I think he's got the point to the point now with the clothes in that he wears them till they fall to pieces outside and they don't go in the washing machine because we haven't got a washing machine. They get thrown away. Yes, dear, is that the theory? Yeah. Wear it, get it oily and throw it. He doesn't come in the house dressed like that. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to go walk the dog. Lily's going to ride the pony. We're going to check out a new saddle she's got on the pony to see if it fits properly. Bella's going to have her first walk with Mommy because it's been ages. Well, I haven't seen Bella before, so it's been ages since I've been here, hasn't it? Hello, Bella. Speak. Speak. Speak to us. No, she's not speaking. That's the pony who's hopefully pregnant with my foal inside her. I think she is definitely pregnant. Have a look in the comments. What do you think, gang? Does she look pregnant? If she is, she's about three months pregnant? Four months pregnant. Four months pregnant. So let us know in the comments, does she look pregnant? 
and all of you keep well and uh, stay in touch like share and comment and all that stuff that you're supposed to do lots of love bye bye